In the main menu, you can choose any customizations you like. If you select the Auto Stash feature, you must choose the correct tab ID. With this feature tool, we'll send message to your Telegram ad. You can view the log window here. Or set the value of currency limits if needed. To set the position of the currency, click on the currency button you want and drag the red dot to the corresponding currency position. If you want to craft multiple items, you have to set the location by clicking on the chain area. Each red dot corresponds to the position of an item. For example, I won't craft 60 items in my inventory. So I set width and height equal 12 and 5. You can set and use heart key here. For example, if I want to craft socket colors with two red, two green and two blue sockets, You can see craft process in log window. Similarly with the socket and link features. Let's try auto stash and volorb. With Auto Stash Enable, Tool will stash item after finish craft. In the Open Stack Deck feature, I suggest setting the craft delay to more than 0.2. You must have a Divination Stash to use this feature. With crafting using mods, you can select mods and double click to add them to the table. You can select and press the delete button to remove unwanted lines. Or right click on a mod to move it between boards. You can press the open mods table button to expand the board for easier interaction. Remember to press apply after making edits. If you can't find the mods you want, you can add them yourself in the Data Mods directory. If the mods have values, replace the value of the values with a hash symbol. You can set the values and weights for mods. For example, I want to craft items with life and one of the four types of resistance. Let's try with the Magic Craft feature. With the Fossil Craft feature, you need to set the positions for the resonators and fossils. Then set the position for the space fossil here.
With harvest, you need to set the position for the harvest button. Then choose the crafting option you want to use. In the Rare Regal Craft feature, you will need to set values for both Magic Mods and Rare Mods. In this example, I want the tool to find one of three mods, then use Regal to get the desired combo. You can also use Exalts and Annals to craft more complex items, such as a three mod cluster. With the Group Craft feature, you only need to set values for magic affixes and groups. Each combo in a group separated by a line of dashes. Press Add Group to add Line 2 table. If you want to use Exalts and Annals, then set the value of the mods in the Rare table. Let's try crafting a cluster. Set the space sextant as an empty slot in the currency tab. With sextant crafting, if you want to use auto stash, you must set the value for the chain area as your inventory. The inventory slot means how many compasses you want to use in one crafting session, with the maximum value being 60. I recommend setting the position of the sextant here to block mods with low values. With map crafting, a ban mod means a mod that you do not want to appear. You can select values for good and bad mods. Quite simple. You can also choose the values for pack size, quality here, and the crafting option. You can also use the auto stash feature if you want. 
Harvest exchange, used to exchange one type of currency for another using hearty crafting. Choose the type of item you want to exchange and the item you want to receive. If you choose replace only, it will only exchange items in the replace list for other types, not in the replace list. With the haggle feature, you must set the value for the confirm haggle button and the chain area as the value of the items in the shop. You can choose the items you do not want to take here. In the last tab, there is some information about my website, Discord, and YouTube channel. And there is also a link for you to say thanks. If you like my application, let me know if you encounter any bugs or have suggestions to add. Goodbye. Ho ho ho!